Peniel Joseph. <laughs> I am the director for the Center for the Study of Race and Democracy and professor of history at Tufts University. Um, I think the dreams um, of MLK, what that inspires for me, is a discussion of social and political uh, justice and racial equality. And what do you hope people will take away from today's discussion? Well, I think this is the 50th anniversary of 1964, um, Lyndon Johnson's War on Poverty, Civil Rights Act, Freedom Summer, all these epical events that happened in 1964. I think what I hope that people come away with is the fact that um, we're still facing a lot of challenges that are very similar and echo uh, from 50 years ago. So issues of um, unemployment, issues of poverty, um, issues of things like racial profiling, although it wasn't called that then. Um, issues of new issues like mass incarceration and new challenges. So even though we have an African-American president 50 years later, that substantively, beyond the symbolism of the victories, we're, we're facing real challenges in terms of fulfilling King's dream of racial equality and economic justice. And what made you just to decide to participate in today's event? Uh, well, I've participated in past um, WNYC MLK events. Um, it's always been um, great. They occur at the Brooklyn Museum. Um, great crowd. Uh, uh, Brian Lehrer, I'm a big fan. Um, Farai Chidea, I'm a big fan. And so it's just great. I'm, I'm a big believer in public radio and sort of public access to talk about these issues as well. What do you believe MLK's dream for 2014 NYC would be? Well, I think he would want everybody to live in harmony with one another uh, and not just um, people of different races, but now New York is so much more diverse in terms of religions and ethnicities and I think he would want everybody to be able to live together and appreciate other people's traditions and backgrounds and religions and, um, and really be able to put aside all the other differences that we have with one another.